Well, hello there. Thank you for having us today. Today, we are here at the mud flats doing some epic fishing. I'm told the animal we're fishing for today is cute. Is that right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, some people would say it's cute. Yeah, it's cute. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Um. Are we guaranteed to catch some fish today? Recently, he's been catching quite a lot of them, so he okay. thinks that we will be able to. That's good. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Hey, hey, hey. Oh. oh, let's catch some fish. Let's go. To catch a fish, you must become a fish, starting with this unique surfing board. It allows me to spread my weight out across a larger area, preventing me from sinking into the mud. We're pumped. We're excited. We're going to jump in the ocean. I mean, the mud. Let's go. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. Unlike a regular waterboard, you don't use paddles. You don't use your hands. You only need a strong thrust from your leg region. Hey, it's pretty slick. You're going the wrong way. No. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. So we've come literally about five kilometers out here. Can you still see the shore? Oh shit, you can All right, we've come very far out. Now what? We're gonna look for some holes, and then between the holes, we scoop. Okay, so what about here and here? Do those, yes? Oh, he just got one. Oh, I mean, not yet, but. Are you making the sashimi right now, brother? <laughs> Why'd you have to say the word joke at the end of your translation? <laughs> Are my jokes not obviously jokes? <laughs> okay, jokes so. Are hard to translate. I'm just telling you, he just cut the mud seven times. Now what? Well, it won't actually cut because it's not sharp, but this is the movement. In places like this, the mud gets a little bit harder to see, so it might be better to split up. Oh, okay. Yes. You're afraid I'm going to steal all the fish. Okay, guys, I'm going off board. Oh, oh no, that was a mistake already. There's a hole here, and there's a hole here. So maybe in the middle, there's a fish. Let's go for it. Come on. All right, there's no fish there. Did we bring any fish to like throw in the mud and be like, oh, here's a fish? No. That's what we usually do. All right, I'm getting back on my boat. Oh, why did I get off my boat? One would say that based on my body type and my spirit animal, <laughs> the mud would be my natural habitat. But life out here is harder than I expected. Oh, my boat's sinking. I hope it'll all be worth it when I meet these cute fish Shizuka can't stop talking about. Jizzy, can I say I'm glad that I let you choose the adventure this time? We're having a great time. Of course. Hold on, guys. I got something. What's this? What the hell is that? It's a log. It's not a fish. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Hour four of mud fishing. We're having a lot of fun and we've caught zero fish! Sorry, I lost my temper. Evidently there's fish somewhere in this mud. I don't know who put them there. We're trying to get them out. It's pretty hard. Even the guy who's an expert, he looks like he's given up too, but we can't give up. If we don't get any goddamn fish, we don't have an episode. So we press on. He got one! Yes! Oh yes! my God! Yes! He got one! Yes! He did it! It's possible! Yes. I never had a shred of doubt. Even he looks forlorn and lost right now. Oh, I can't wait to see it. It did look kind of cute from here. It's long and it's a little muddy. Let's go say hi. Our effort is not fruitless. He's caught one. I just saw it from afar. It did look kind of cute. It's gonna be super cute. I'm gonna pull it out right now. As I look at this creature, I start to realize it's a trap. This isn't supposed to be a fun day. This, I'm not gonna eat that, is... <laughs> Revenge. Oh, what the? Ah! Oh it bit me! Oh my God. <laughs> That's not cute at all! You made me suffer on this trip. You deserved it. This is a Warasubo, also known as the aliens of Ariake Sea. What's up? This eel like fish has been caught and eaten by locals in the past. These days, this gnarly creature serves as a local mascot to promote tourism in the area. You know, I appreciate the tip about looking the holes, but hey, they bite you. That would have been a good tip. Wow, these things are fucking vicious. So you eat these? Uh, yeah, some people in Saga Prefecture do, I guess. Okay, yeah, not all people in Japan. No. We got what we came for, but just one is not enough. Two eaters means we need at least two warasubo. <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! You got one? Oh shit! Oh, I got one! Yeah. Oh, 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 oh
Ah! It's trying to bite me, you little bastard. Oh, I can't believe it. There's nothing like the rush of hunting down your own food and providing for your family or co-host. It's nature's cocaine, and I'm searching for another line. Well, guys, I would love to stay here all day up to my balls in mud, but um, I think we gotta go eat what we got. Can't wait for her to get a taste. And really to just look it in the eyes, maybe give it a kiss on the lips. Right, Chizzy? Yeah. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Feel no pain, I only gain red hot blood running through my veins. Today, the creature which we will call food will be prepared in a local pub named Toki Izakaya run by Miss Alalagi Tokiko for the last 43 years. Her specialty, drinking food, which is perfect because I'm going to need a buzz to get this one down. Hello there. Thank you for having us today. We just caught these Watasubo. Is she proud? Yes. For people in Saigon, these are friends. Yeah, it bit me on the finger. <laughs> Did it hurt? No. <laughs> <laughs> Even when you cook them, they'll bite you. What? These cute creatures, as Shizuka calls them, are normally impaled through their head while they're alive and hung to dry. Do you eat it like this, like some fish jerky? The best one is this, and the second is in miso soup. The third best way to eat it is sashimi. And that's what we're here for. The preparation method of choice is called ikezukuri, a Japanese word that translates to prepared alive, a method used for some octopi, fish, shrimp, and today's unlucky warasubo. So she starts from the tail, works her way towards the head. The meat itself is super red, like blood red. Not enjoying this. It grosses you out? I think it's not nice. I'd I, rather them just chop its head off. A lot of people would agree with you. It's actually outlawed in some countries like Germany. I think it should be, but uh, Japan values the freshness. Now she's told me to put this on it. I'm not sure what this does. Oh! It bit the spoon! Oh, shush. Oh! What? It's sake. Oh, these are little alcoholics. There's no way it's still alive. It's definitely still alive. But that's just its nervous system. What does she think? She's like, yeah, it's still alive. <laughs> are you gonna try it? I don't know if I can try this one. How about these two heads? Boom. Cover it with a lemon. No, 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 that doesn't make a difference. It's just literally the skin of the fish that you just shaved off. Yeah, I can't cover that. That's the actual food. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try it out. Let's go. Mmm. Oh, it's like a penis fish. Really? It's very chewy. I like it. The taste itself, it's not off-putting, it's not fishy. But honestly, the outside skin is like sandy and coarse. It's like grade one sandpaper. Well, little guys, thank you for giving your life. That was pretty good, actually. I'll try it again. And that's only the third best way. Aren't you excited that there's still two more ways that are even better? Yes, so excited. <laughs> Miss Tokiko has offered us her three favorite warasubo dishes, and Shizuka has promised to try at least one. What a flippin' day! What an eventful day, damn. I think the surprise couldn't have gone better. Yeah, here's my part of the surprise. There are three forms of warasubo here. Which one are you willing to try today? As scary as this is, I'm curious to attempt that. And even suck the head? <laughs> suck the head. She no. told us she should, right? We yes, asked her. She did. I can take a bite of the shumai part. I think that sounds pretty good to me. What I want to show you before we work up to this here. So she said this is the favorite and most popular dish of warasubo. Dried grilled warasubo. This dish is served served in sake, but before that, they have to tenderize it with a hammer and grill them over an open fire for 20 seconds. Cut them up and pop them in your sake, apple teeny, or mimosa, however you like it. All right, let's try it out. It's so fishy. Whoa. Usually I can't tell much of a difference yeah. when I throw something in there. Uh, I can tell. Yeah, me too. It's bold, it's daring, it's alt-right somehow too. Alt-right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is like really changed experience and I can't say if it's for the better or not. Yeah, it's, I don't really know why you would do this normally. I don't think anyone starts with that. I think when you're trash, then you're like, let's start putting fish in there. Yeah. So I got a little fishy buzz and now I'm ready to approach this. Shomai on Elm Street is not on the menu and with good reason. Our gracious host removes the warasubo heads and steams them. 
then carefully removes the meat, mincing it along with soy sauce, sugar, and sake. You know what? I would keep telling you the cooking instructions, but I don't think anyone's following along at home anyways, so let's move on. I'm gonna go for this guy right here. Very erect, astute, good posture. Wow, look at that. It's pretty good. It's pretty good? Mm-hmm. You gotta get rid of the head. Yeah. It seems the head may just be for show. I think it is. Oh yeah, I didn't even describe it. I don't know. <laughs> Can you just tell them what it tastes like? It's like salty. <laughs> I'm so bad at my show. Good, good effort, good effort. It's not bad at all. Well prepared, well seasoned, and that is full of the meat from tons of these little guys. Yeah. Lastly, I got a munch on this head. We got still a bit of fin here. The teeth are just bleached white at this point. Oh God. Oh, it's fun. <laughs> not a lot of meat, it's a lot of hard stuff and fins. No one does this, do they? No, but the lady said you can um, suck on the Yeah, head. well, you can suck on anything, technically. <laughs> Doesn't mean you should. <laughs>